Hello, sixth grade. This is the story that comes at the beginning of Unit 9 of our Blue Vocabulary book. This week it is a contemporary fiction story called The Competitive Edge. My friend Denise was the best distance runner on our track team. At least, I always assumed she was. In spring, we both run in three-kilometer races in the vicinity of our school. She comes in first, and I might come in fifth or so on a good day. I'm just not that focused on winning, I guess, and I certainly never thought anyone would displace Denise as the team's top runner. Maya, you have to be more competitive, Coach Karen told me after my race. Today you looked like you were jogging downtown for an ice cream cone. Coach isn't always considerate of my feelings. Still, there's truth to what she says. If you took a poll, most people would say athletes are naturally competitive. But for some reason, I wasn't. Not that there's anything bad or improper about wanting to win, especially in sports. In fact, a competitive spirit is a healthy thing, so why didn't I have more of it? That's what was on my mind last Friday, just before the three-kilometer race in Gray Falls. When the race began, I watched Denise jump out to the lead as I fell back to the middle of the pack. This was identical to what had happened at the beginning of my last two races. I had come in sixth and seventh in those, but suddenly that wasn't good enough. All of a sudden, I felt like winning. We were already running at a brisk pace, but I picked it up a bit. Running hard, I moved ahead of the two girls in front of me. This was risky because pacing is all important in distance running. If I wasn't careful, I might not have enough energy to finish. I might come in last and humiliate myself. One thing was obvious. I wasn't jogging for ice cream today. In fact, I was gaining on Denise. With each step, I saw the soles of her track shoes more clearly. Usually, my mind races faster than my body does in a race. I think about how far I've run and how far I have to go. I estimate how much energy I have left. I second-guess every move I make. This race, however, was different. This time, my mind was completely empty except for one thought. I'm going to pull ahead. Incredibly enough, I did. I crossed the finish line less than a meter ahead of Denise. I had won my first race. Good race, I said to Denise after we had caught our breaths. Yeah, she muttered, looking like she was in shock after her unexpected downfall. Lucky win for me, I heard myself say. I guess I came up with that to soothe Denise's feelings. Just then, Coach came over. That was more than luck, she said. You both ran a great race. It's just that Maya wanted the win more. Finally. I have to admit that winning the race felt great. It's a memory I cherish. Also, now that I've won once, I want to prove that I can do it again. Maybe that's what competition is all about.